It's your boy Hi5 Vega, and today we are unboxing the brand new Kicker Warhorse WXA 3600.1. So, I have purposely not unboxed this thing since I've had it. I've had it for a few weeks now, and uh, I have peeked at it, but I have not taken it out and actually held it in my hand. So, without further ado, let's open it up and see what this new beast looks like. Yeah, I just want to be the greatest. In any unboxing, you got to kind of go around the box and see what information it tells you. So you do have a lot of information on the box. The most important thing is the power rating. So you can see 1400 at 4 ohms, 2500 at 2 ohms, and 3600 at 1 ohm mono. Then you have a dynamic power rating of 5,000 watts. You also have your dimensions on the side here. So you're basically 9 and 8 inches wide, about 15 inches long with the uh, feet, or it's 15 and 3 eighths with the feet, sorry. And then I believe it's about 2 inches high. And if you look down here, you see that you get a diagnostic tool as well as a base knob. All right, let's open it up. So you can see right away you get the birth certificate love this this is old school but I definitely love it 4500 watts well 4600 watts 4594 watts past all the certification numbers got the serial number there very nice on this side we have got the war horse on here You've got a voltage readout, and then you've got a few other buttons. We'll have to get into the manual and see exactly what it does. But it comes with the cable. So you'll need to run this cable for it. We have another. And this side is for the base knob. The base knob also has the Warhorse branding on the side. Oh man, that that has a very nice feel to it. High quality for sure. Definitely appreciate that. It looks like it has a 3.5 millimeter, so and a locking mechanism. Very nice. All right, there it is. This thing is an absolute piece of metal here. Wow, I really, really love the design of this. I love the logo here, the war horse. I love the font. Of course, kicker up on this end. Then you have another engraved portion that says the model number. Let's kind of flip it on its side here. You can see we have double power, double ground, one aught. And then you have two areas for remote. I'll have to check the manual, but I think one is probably remote in, one might be remote out. You have fans on this side with the kicker logo. Super, super nice touch. On this end, you have pretty much the same fan and kicker covers here. You have your speaker terminals. It looks like they will accept for a gauge. Uh, the manual should probably tell. You have your remote base knob here with the lock. You have your diagnostic port here. Then you have your subsonic filter, your DC turn on, low pass frequency gain, input level, and competition mode. We'll get more into that in another video. And then you have your input and output RCAs. On the bottom side here, you just have the uh, model number, kicker, sticker, and then a spot to open it up and check out the guts. But this video just being an unboxing, we're not going to do the guts because my good buddy Derek from Wilson Audio Labs is going to do a full dyno on this and he will definitely show you what the guts look like. With that being said, we have unboxed it. Let's compare it to the last most powerful kicker amp uh, size wise and just looks wise and see which one we like better. All right. So what we have here is the previous most powerful kicker amp that was out. This is the KXA 2400. Now this amp is actually very similar in size. As you can see, 
if you put it over the war horse the war horse is just a little bit wider so size footprint is pretty similar on the 2400 you have a single power and ground uh, one odd input and a single remote and then you have a much smaller eight gauge speaker in and out here and it's very simple all the controls on this one are on the back though so comparing the two you get 2400 watts out of this amp you get 3500 watts out of this amp roughly the same footprint and the price is pretty comparable i believe that this one was 1299 brand new um, you were seeing it for $9.99 at some point. This one is $10.99, I believe. And at $10.99, this thing is an absolute steal, in my opinion. So that's so. it. The War Horse has been unboxed. This is a very cool amp. You're going to see more videos with this amp from me. But I wanted to get an unboxing video out there so you guys can kind of get a first look at it. That being said, check out my buddy Derek at Wilson Audio Labs. He will be doing a full amp dyno on this. Be on the lookout for that. Also... My guy Living Loud with Andy is going to be doing a full rundown on the War Horse as well. So stay tuned. So with that being said, I hope you guys do appreciate these type of videos. And be ready for this War Horse. We're putting in some work with it. And uh, I got a couple solo X's laying around here. So why not have a little bit of fun? But I do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you like this kind of content, hit like, subscribe. And I hope to catch every single one of you on the next video. Because believe me, there is going to be some War Horse and Solo X shenanigans going on. A big shout out to all my supporters, but a special shout out goes to the Six Star Award members. El Fuego Audio, Baba, Cornut, Scott McCord, David Koslick, Scott Dielbeck, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Box Boy Audio Sound Solutions, Travis McLennan, William Berg, 2001 Monolithic, Joaquin Juarez, Old School Stereo, Living Loud with Andy, Thomas Marshall, Kevin Lautner, D. Stewart Jesus Tires, and Bobby Burkett. You can join the team for as little as $2 a month. Get your name in the credits for as little as $3 a month. And for as little as $6 a month, you can get your name read aloud. Join me at patreon.com slash hi-fi vega. Oh, oh.